So I really love using my GH5S and I think it's an incredible bit of kit but there are a few issues that I am noticing with the camera. I'm gonna cover these issues in separate videos just because I wanna go into a bit of detail about each one. But in this video, I'm gonna cover the shadow noise issues that I've been experiencing. Um, not all the time, just with, uh, actually it was a shoot I did last week, which was a music video shoot. And it was only when I came to review the footage that I realized how bad some of the shadow noise actually was. So the lighting for this music video shoot was very dark, loads of shadows. We had a large key light that was coming through the window. I also had a strip light that was kind of uplighting some props and also providing side light to the actress. This is a very demanding lighting setup for any camera and I felt that it required as much dynamic range as possible just to stop the window and strip light from clipping to white and in theory give the shadows the best chance of retaining detail. To get the best dynamic range out of the GH5S you have to shoot at your native ISO. So on the GH5S, you actually have two, and that's either 800 or 5,000. Now 5,000 ISO just felt way too high for this shoot. And I didn't want to be using a ND filter or anything like that, because I was doing some lens changes and a few different kind of rig setups, and it just felt easier to just keep it at ISO 800 or around that figure. So I decided to shoot at ISO 800 for the majority of the shoot and I bumped it up to ISO 1600, just in the parts of the room that had kind of less light and were a bit more shadowy. In the shot you're seeing right now, I've graded it to compress the shadows significantly. If I go and remove that grade, you can see that the shots have a lot of very nasty digital image noise in the shadows, and the shadow detail is compromised by the image noise. If I zoom in on the face, you can see that there's a lot of deterioration through the image noise. But if you look at the highlights and midtones, they all look great. It's just the underexposed parts of the image where the shadow noise really starts to take over. A lot of it looks similar to the horizontal noise I used to get on my Blackmagic 4K cinema camera. It looks very artificial and any denoiser is gonna to struggle to clean this without losing a lot of fine detail in the image. If you look at this similar shot I did at ISO 1600, the shadow noise is still present and you can still see faint horizontal lines, but it appears to look much more natural and organic. After reviewing all the shots I did at ISO 1600, they all looked significantly cleaner. Ever since noticing this issue, it's been really on my mind. So last night I decided to set up a kind of mini test just to work out a bit which ISO sensitivities were triggering this really horrible kind of shadow noise. In these shots, I'll go from ISO 400 up to 1600, and then I'll also show you ISO 5000, just so you can compare the two native ISOs kind of back to back. In this video, I'm only gonna do this range of ISOs because all the other ISOs performed as you would expect, slowly getting noisier as you increase through the range. For the test, I just used some figurines to create a scene that is quite similar to lighting in the music video. There's a bright key light behind the subject, there's also detailed gradients and a dark shadow that clips to black. I've also put a 200% scaled up version of the shadowed area on the left of the scene so that you can see the shadow noise in a bit more detail. So starting at ISO 320, the first thing I noticed is that there's definitely horizontal noise and the horizontal noise really kind of stays within the shadows and the underexposed parts of the image. ISO 400 just looks identical to ISO 320, but at ISO 500, there's a noticeable increase in shadow and horizontal noise. At ISO 640, the structure looks very similar to before, but the amount just increases again. Jumping to ISO 800, one of the camera's native ISO settings, there appears to be another increase again in shadow and horizontal noise levels. And at ISO 1000, the horizontal noise and shadow noise is getting worse again. ISO 1250 is showing the worst and the shadows are now completely taken over. Interestingly though, ISO 1600 has a significant decrease in the amount of horizontal noise and shadow noise, and all the other ISOs up from this point just slowly got worse, all displaying a level of horizontal noise and shadow noise. Here's ISO 5000 so you can compare the two native ISOs. It appears to be much cleaner than ISO 800, there's definitely some denoising going on, but overall it looks much nicer. If you look at this composite of all the ISOs I filmed, you can see that ISO 500, 640, 800, 1000, and 1250 perform the worst for shadow noise, with the shadow noise getting significantly worse as you increase throughout that range. Something else I notice is that it seems to be much cleaner to jump from ISO 400 up to 1600. If I now add ISO 800, 
You can see the shadow noise definitely gets worse at the native ISO. But if I now go and show you the bright part of the image, they all perform almost identically to each other. So it's a bit of an odd one. And after searching online, these results aren't just isolated to my camera. There are loads of people out there that are experiencing the same kind of horizontal image noise and just generally very bad shadow detail and shadow noise in their GH5S footage. And I've noticed it in other footage I've shot as well. This scene was brightly exposed using just sunlight, so absolutely ideal conditions, but all these shots have shadow noise in them. On the black material here, the shadow noise looks passable. There's definitely noise and movement, but nothing I'd consider ugly. But on the underexposed skin, where there's colour and subtle gradients, the shadow noise just completely takes over. And in this shot, where it only affects a small area, and isn't really too much of a problem, it does stop you from seeing the very fine detail in this part of the fabric. It's a bit of a shame because it really takes away from the incredible quality and detail this camera captures in the rest of the shot. All these clips were shot in 1080p at 10 bit, 50 frames per second at 200 megabits per second. So a pretty decent data rate for the bit depth, frame size and frame rate. But by accident I actually shot four clips at 1080p, 8 bit, 50 frames per second, 100 megabits per second mode. And comparing these clips, they're actually completely unusable after the grade, as the shadows just fall apart instantly due to the native ISO issue and the low data rate combined. But if you have a look around the image, you can see the highlights are performing absolutely fine. So the higher your data rate, the more this noise issue is going to be masked. Now there's no solutions online to how to kind of fix this problem. The only way I could deal with the image noise was by applying quite heavy noise reduction to the footage. This worked well at getting rid of the worst of the image noise, but made the image look very unnatural. I then had to re-noise the image with some image grain overlays, and then finally crush the shadows down in the grade so that they were quite underexposed. The denoising process is actually a real pain and takes a lot of time in computer power, so it isn't an ideal solution at all. But for the moment, what I'm gonna do when selecting a different ISO setting is use ISO 320 or ISO 400 for the cleanest possible shadows. Avoid using ISO 500 and 640 and just use ISO 400, opening your aperture to let in a tiny bit more light. Only use ISO 800 when the scene is mainly bright and you need that extra dynamic range. Avoid using ISO 1000 and 1250 at all times, as your image will be much cleaner if you use ISO 1600 and just stop down a tiny bit. And use ISO 1600 up for any low light shots. Now I know it's a bit of a pain kind of doing that, but for the moment it's the only solution I can kind of think of to get around these problems or try and avoid having bad looking footage. What I'm really hoping is that Panasonic is kind of working on a new firmware update to eliminate these shadow noise issues or even just reduce them so they're on a similar level to ISO 400. It's really worrying that the native ISO of this camera is delivering such poor kind of shadow detail and shadow noise. Now I know that was all a bit of a negative sort of video and by any means don't let it put you off buying the GH5S. I think these are more just issues with the camera and technology being so new. I know it's got a brand new Sony developed sensor in there. I don't think it's a physical problem with that technology. I think it's just possibly the implementation and firmware updates and revisions will kind of continue to make this camera a much better machine. Anyway, I hope that video was kind of useful or interesting to you guys. Um, I've got a few more kind of videos coming up. I've actually got a few that I've done and kind of edited, but I can't release them because the footage I've used within them from the products, those projects aren't kind of released yet. So as soon as they're released, I can upload my videos. Keep an eye on the channel for when those come up and I'll see you guys in the next one.